In this tutorial, we will be looking at multiplying rational expressions together. If you don't remember how to multiply two fractions together, you will want to review that first. We will also be looking at how to determine the non-permissible values in these cases. There are four steps we are going to follow for multiplying rational expressions together. 1. Factor the numerator and denominator. 2. Cancel common factors. We'll also write down any non-permissible values from cancelled factors here. These two steps keep our calculations smaller, make the problem easier to work with. 3. Multiply. 4. Include any non-permissible values with your answer. An important note here is that non-permissible values are determined in two places. First, you write down any from step 2 that you cancelled. Then, again from your final expression. Multiply the following rational expressions together. Include non-permissible values with your final answer. Step 1. Factor the numerator and denominator in each expression. Step 2. Cancel common factors. Write down non-permissible values from cancelled factors. We can cancel a 7 and an x minus 1. Here, we make a note that x cannot equal negative 1 as we will need to add this at the end. Step 3. Multiply. Now we multiply the numerators and denominators together to get 4x squared plus 8 over x squared plus 2x. Step 4. Include any non-permissible values with your answer. This is the expression where we determine any remaining non-permissible values. Our denominator factors to x multiplying x plus 2. Make each factor equal to 0 and solve. And we have x cannot equal 0, negative 2, and negative 1. In this lesson, you learned about multiplying simple rational expressions together, that there are four steps to the process, and that your non-permissible values come from any cancelled terms in step 2, and after you've multiplied your terms together.